these are two different issues. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, what they're trying to do is put a uh, get a variance to go from what uh, what's what they asking from 125 uh, maximum square feet to 300, correct? An additional 300, so 375 total. Correct? Well, we're not asking for a variance on size. We're asking for a variance just to move our sign because we don't think the size comes into play at all. But by, 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 by replacing the sign, you are back. But that's really the size of the right. yeah. That's why we think it's yeah, we're, we're technically not being asked for a size variance. That's correct. But what they're asking for. But that's, that is in effect what we're doing. Yeah. Mr. Chair, if you the motion. Um, right, we have a motion on the floor. floor. Uh, do I get a second for that motion? motion. Right, motion to postpone. Right. No, we can't indefinitely, and I'm, I'm not recommending indefinitely. Yes, this was a, a, a motion to postpone until the December meeting. If that's what the board feels like, and it's up to the interpretation of various members as to whether to deal with it or not. Now, the uh, amendment to the motion offered by Dr. Howell, you can accept or not. And you have the flat postponement or <coughs> postponement with the attorneys who look at it, and they may or may not give you any additional information depending on the circumstances and depending on the location. But Ms. Gaskins said that it was a precedent for, yeah, I, I, I'm just suggesting to the board but I don't think you can demand of the attorneys for the city or the county to uh, weigh in on this. You can make a request and see what happens. Right. And that is all. That's all we can do is ask. And right. if they decline, they decline. Right. Right. Do you accept the amendment or? Okay. I have a motion on the floor with the amendment about how will we request city attorney review this and give us their interpretation. We have their attorney's interpretation. Okay, motion on the floor. All in favor, raise a hand and hold it, please. One, two, three. All opposed. One, two, three. Well, we have a tie. Three, three is my job to break the tie. I vote that we do not postpone, that we go ahead and make Administer, I mean, uh, make a decision here today. Your vote is against the motion. My, I vote against the motion. Your, your vote is 4 3. You need to cast it inside and vote. 3 4. Motion passed. 3 4. I'm sorry. Yes. All right. Show of hands again. Make sure we're clear on the record. Who voted okay. with Dr. Black. Housel and Nancy and uh, Byrne voted for the motion. Ms. Gaskins. Ms. Alvarado and Ms. McCall and myself are voting. Ms. Porterman. I'm sorry. I would have said. Uh, <laughs> and Matt <coughs> voted against it, and I threw the deciding vote and against it. So we still have the case pending in front of us here. Can I get a motion on this request? Interpretation is that we are hearing a variance for relocation of the sign. Correct. And we know that size and also location of the sign being too far from the property entrance. Okay. But technically, I just want to make sure that we, we understand. We are making a judgment based upon their application, right? Which is for relocation their application of the sign. application how it's been processed, yes. But I, don't, right, I, I want to make sure that we respond to their application and not necessarily our interpretation of their application. You see what I'm saying? And 
also in your packet, it shows the difference between how you do signs. All the time. I'm sorry. We're contemplating. I apologize. <laughs> okay. So I've got a case before. Is anybody willing to make a motion either to grant or deny? Or some other variable. And, and so their application is for replacement and relocation of the sign to this location. And it's not size, I'm sorry. It was, it was two parts, right? Or was it just essentially both? Right. But it's section 230-9, which has multiple subparts. That's right. how we have advertised it. Because essentially your interpretation broke it down into two issues, which was size and age. All right. Okay. I make a motion that we deny their request for uh, relocation of a replacement sign onto this property. What kind of sign? Bill more time? Uh, based upon the size that they've proposed. Yes. Okay, which means that they can build. Right. I have a motion on the floor from Mr. McCall to deny the request to move the billboard to this site. I have second Mr. Alvarado. All in favor of the motion, please raise a hand and hold it. Four. All opposed? Two. You have a four, two vote. Dr. Alvarado.
or more than four total meetings during a calendar year, calendar meeting January through December, then that member seat shall be declared vacant and a replacement member shall be requested to fill the unexpired term. The chairman shall determine an unexcused, uh, excuse me, an excused versus unexcused absence for each situation. At the chairman's discretion, excused absences may include reasons such as personal or family medical situations, personal or legitimate workplace emergencies, transportation delays, etc. Anybody have anything they want to discuss? I make a motion to approve those that language regarding the attendance rules. Anybody want to not to cut you off? Any any discussion before I accept the motion and move? I have motion from Mr. Alvarado. I have second from Dr. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, right. I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. My glasses are turning. You said that egg dog earlier. Yes. Yeah. I have motion, have second. All in favor of accepting this unanimous. Uh, any other business we need to discuss, new or old? I think we have the meeting calendar. I have a motion to accept the calendar from Gretchen, and do I have a second? A second. Second from Matt. All in Matt, I'm sorry. Yeah, here we go. Uh, all in favor, please raise a hand. Unanimous, good luck. Thank you very much. Anything else? Are we having a Christmas holiday, Thanksgiving, New Year's party? There's, there's none currently planned. That as well. Okay. In years past, um, city or county staff have coordinated that and put the bill and so forth. Um, in many years past, and just like recent years, we do not have funding for that. As I recall, a year ago we had a dinner party, or is that before then? Um, when the years run together. I know, in my mind. <laughs> I know there was one for Dave Kirk. Yeah, and I thought there was one for Christmas as well, but I may be misremembering that. No, we did it here. We had one here. We had one here before. Two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, and everybody just brought a little something. Right. I don't think anything else I want to do. I don't think you did anything last year, but still four we did it here. Right after the meeting. We did it after the meeting for a few minutes, everybody. We can do whatever is at the board's pleasure. If you want to coordinate something for here, we can. Um, personally, this does not make to me the nicest holiday venue. <laughs> I'm mad. But we try. <laughs> um, and then we also have to check calendars. Sometimes there's a group coming into this room. So how do you coordinate something by email? And then you finalize details of the December meeting, which I believe is December 3rd. So it's pretty early. Okay. Does that satisfy everybody?